Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. In today's topic, is about soaring higher. How can you soar higher in your life, in love, in business, in your spirituality, in your creativity? Let's just open up the space. To create an energy of alignment that allows you to create and allows you to soar higher. Let us ground. From the base of your spine down to the center of the earth, we're gonna create a grounding cord. It's very strong and nurturing and fortifying. We're going to take the roots of that grounding cord and really anchor yourself to Mother Earth, to yourself, to your essence, to who you are. And let's start to release everything that no longer serves you. Letting go of the past. Take a nice big deep breath. Letting go of the future, take a nice, big, deep breath. Let's say hello to the here and now. Come into present time. You can even insert the date. Really come into present. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Breathe in for four. Hold it for two. And breathe out for six. Let's do this one more time, coming into present time. Allowing your ner nervous system to calm down. Breathing in for four. Hold it for two. And breathing out for six. Now let's create a circle of light around you. About two feet out. Feel that circle of light. Visualize that circle of light. And a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit. Where your personality and your higher self are working hand in hand. circle of pink roses that represent love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world and a circle of red divine roses that represent protection from anything that is not of your own energy your loved ones your significant other your children co-workers your furry animals, everything goes on the outside of your space. Really claim your own energy field. The I am. The 
Now take a nice big deep breath. Come up to your sixth chakra right between the brow. And put your life today, this week, on your movie screen. Say hello to your opportunities. What opportunities do you have? Is life moving in a fast pace, barely trying to keep up with it? Or are you feeling stifled and stuck? Or maybe somewhere in between? So say hello to your opportunities, even if you're not sure what they are yet. Say hello to those next steps. And may the lessons of those next steps be paved with ease and grace. Say hello to those challenges. Can you have an ease to your challenges? How much are you identifying with your challenges, the problem? Are you focusing on the problem? Or are you focusing on the solution? Part of soaring higher means having the discipline and the right mindset. Let's say hello to your blessings. What blessings do you have in your life? What blessings do you have? Part of the energy that creates more energy and positivity in your life is focusing on those blessings. Now let us check in. Physically, I'd like you to ask yourself, how do I feel physically? Just see what lights up. Don't try to change it. Give it a golden light, even some green or pink energy. For those of you who are beating your body up, this is a good time to give yourself some pink and green energy. Now say to your physical body, health, vitality, strength, and flow. Own in your body, health, vitality, strength, and flow. Take a nice big deep breath. And come up to your center of your head. We're going to focus on our mental energies. Allow a golden light to get bigger and brighter, flushing out any incoherence, any frenetic or foggy energy. You're clearing the slate of your mind. Now say to yourself, I am alert 
receptive, productive, and present. Align with your mental energies. I am alert, receptive, productive, and present. And now take a nice big deep breath all the way up to your crown chakra and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and back up into your heart space. Say hello to your heart. Say hello to your feelings, your emotions. Let's open up those energy centers one more time, all the way back up to your crown chakra, all the way up and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and back up into your heart space. Just become aware of how you're feeling in this moment. Say hello to those feelings. Whatever they may be, just become aware. How do I feel? Now I'd like you to think about and feel if you were to soar higher this week, what emotions do you need to feel in order to create that momentum? What feelings do you need to create in order to soar higher? So I will give you three and you can add to your intention. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and one more time. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and take a nice big deep breath. Oh. Now let's come up to our crown chakra. We're going to go up about four or five feet into our 11th, 12th. We're soaring higher. The higher we go, the faster we go. The higher we raise our vibration, the faster things will change. So let's say hello to our spiritual self, our more divine self. Feel yourself plugging in to you, to the divine, to your loved ones, to the world. And say to yourself, I am connected. I am connected.
And now ask your higher self for support, for guidance, for clarity. In order to soar, what do you need to do? How do you need to feel? Where do you need to be in order to align with your highest potential? Dear God, please support me in this way. Dear God, I need guidance in this area of my life. Dear God, give me clarity for my next steps. Dear God, help me soar. Take a nice big deep breath. Mm. Your hand on your heart. And let's think and feel three things that you are grateful for today. Now send love to somebody who may need it, including yourself. And now bring down a beautiful golden sun of light filled with love and power, strength, aliveness as it comes down through your whole energy field coming down through your sixth igniting your sense of knowingness your intuition coming down through your fifth igniting your authentic true expression down through your golden light coming into your heart chakra, filling you up with love and support and nurturing and soar energy, allowing you to feel that aliveness as it comes down through your solar plexus, aligning with your energy field, rearranging itself in order to soar as that golden light comes down through your second, igniting the power of your relationships and creation energy. And it moves back down to the base of your spine, your root chakra, that golden light, love of self, love 
of self as it moves down through your legs, creating that strength and flexibility down through your calves and into your feet. Wiggle your toes. Let's create that light energy in order to have a little fun with our fun fairies this week. As it moves back down into Mother Earth, say to yourself, I am grounded. I am centered. All is well. Life is good. And everything is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Oh, stretch it out. Oh, open your eyes. and begin. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected. Let's move on to this week's message and life theme. How can you soar? Particularly if you're not really feeling it. So I'd like you to do me a favor before we kind of move into the topic. I'd like you to just Tune into your energy. And if you were to look at your energy prior to the grounding this morning, where were you in your soaring energy? Now what I'd like you to do is if you have listened to this meditation, which all of you on the call have, but for those of you that are on demand, is your energy moved at all in terms of what you think is possible? Because the more intense our lives become, the easier it is to focus on the things that are actually not going to bring our lives forward. That's the interesting thing about it. For whatever reasons, the way our brain is kind of mapped out, fight or flight, that primal part of us, focuses on what could go wrong, what isn't happening, the problems of life. But energy follows thought, and all of you know this. And yet, we continue. Why is this happening? Why isn't my life working this way? Why can't I move forward in this way? But I want you to do an honest assessment of your own energy. Because soaring isn't about the outside world. So I could, if I was, let's say, wanting to change jobs, get the best job I've ever wanted. And yet... My soaring has to do with the mechanics of the outside world. And it's not the outside world that allows you to soar. It's your inside world. How many of you know successful people in your life on the material plane, and yet they're miserable on the inside? Is that soaring? So the alignment comes when your inner and outer world are working together. So I'd like you to take out a piece of paper and a pen. 
And I'd like you to ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, 10 being highest, one being low or zero, how well are you soaring in your life right now? Now, think about what I just said. If you look at soaring as an external way, you may be putting it on the outside world. Even if you haven't attained your goals yet, are you in alignment with that soaring energy? Are you clear about where you're soaring to? How many of us say, I want to soar, but we don't have a clear indication of where that soaring will lead us? What do you want to create? Are you clear in your goals? If you're clear, it'll help you feel motivated. It'll help you feel invigorated. It'll help you maintain focus. Now, soaring, interesting enough, there's a component to it that has to do with learning. So what are you learning about yourself? Because when I'm invested in myself, I'm more conscious about my willing to soar. Are you focusing on this ability? Now, for some of you, either on this call or after the fact, who may be listening to this. How many of you are staying in the same place, hoping for a different outcome? In order to soar, you have to leave your comfort zone. So if your comfort zone is this circle and you're soaring, there's a, a limit if you don't allow yourself to move beyond. So moving beyond the here and now, where are you willing to bring up that, whoo, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone. The other thing that if you do that and you go ahead and you create this beautiful energy of you're clear on your goals, you're really getting that, you're learning new experiences, you're moving outside of your comfort zone, do you have a proper support system? I don't know about you, but when I don't have a foundation of support, mechanically, emotionally, spiritually, it's much more difficult for me to maintain and sustain that energy. So make sure, even if it's a buddy, you have a support system, an accountability aspect to it. Because soaring has to do with discipline. It's not just all kumbaya and let me just go ahead and soar. Soar sounds like fun. But if you think about it, most of us, and I put up on the on the screen when we started our call today, an eagle. I think about an eagle soaring. An eagle doesn't fly with the pack. <laughs> so guess what? You're going to have to be willing to be able to create that support system so that when you fly higher, and you go, oh man, I'm really soaring here. You don't get scared and fly back down. Soaring takes courage. Soaring takes discipline. Soaring takes energy. And soaring takes passion, takes motivation, inspiration. There's a power. But the power doesn't come from the outside world. It comes internally. So align your energies this week. If there's something amiss, if there's somebody in your space that's causing you to drain, 
if there's something that's happening in your life that you're feeling not quite right, then just take some take a moment and ask for help and support. Dear God, spirit guides and teachers, please help in this area of my life in order for me to move out of my own way. I'm clearing the takeoff path in order for me to have a smooth flight moving beyond the clouds up until the sun, beyond the stars, holding the universe and the power of me, the I am. I am disciplined, I am powerful, I am clear, I am energized, I am soaring. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.